as the high roller shrimping boat makes it back to shore. We actually caught them in a couple hours. Buddy Knight is hauling a much different catch than he's used to. We had to run a, a couple hours to get to where they were at. Thousands of pounds of dead fish fill his boat, victims of red tide, carrying a rather smelly stench with them. A few miles off the coast of Pinellas County, Sky Fox captured the line of dead fish floating in the water. It's pretty much just a tide line. They, they get bunched up in that tide line, and uh, but some of them scattered kind of all over. Pinellas County's plan is to scoop the dead fish up away from shore before they have the chance of washing up on the beaches. It's a hard task and one that's being supplemented with workers in smaller boats patrolling waterways and canals. The shrimp boats are going about 100 yards uh, in length before they're filling their nets. So we're working to get barges out there to them so they can load the fish in the barge and keep them out there. Pinellas County hired DRC emergency services through a state grant for the cleanup. They've been preparing for weeks after seeing what was happening in Manatee and Sarasota counties. We've known we would probably get hit. We just didn't know uh, the, the effect and the timeline. On land, they have crews raking and cleaning up the beach by hand. Pinellas County hopes by cleaning it up early, Visitors won't be turned away completely. We want to get it cleaned up, kind of just get get over it. You know, hopefully we don't have to, to suffer what the South counties did for as long. Hopefully it's real quick. We, we get a small effect from it and it moves on or just goes away. Now, yesterday, crews started cleaning up those dead fish. Get this, in one day they collected 17 tons of dead fish. They haven't tallied up their numbers today, but that is a lot of dead fish. And if you're wondering what happens next from here, the dead fish are taken to the landfill where a hole is dug and they are buried. And now while we are talking about Pinellas County, it is important to note that some areas like Clearwater Beach are still clear of red tide. And that's why it's important to go online and check out those beach reports and beach uh, conditions that come out each and every single day. Mark, back right. to you. This is, this is spotty indeed. It's a point well taken. Kim, thanks very much.